Put an X in each cell to indicate which number set or set the number belongs to. So we've got the number 0 0.16 recurring, minus 4 fifths, root 11, 102, minus 13, and pi over 2. Down here we've got to decide whether the number is irrational. This is, means a natural number, an integer, rational, and real number. Well, all these numbers will be real numbers. That's one thing we can say for certain, but a number cannot be both irrational and rational by definition. So let's have a look at each number individually. We've got 0 0.16 recurring, so if we let x be equal to 0 0.16666, now you might recognise that as 1 sixth, but if you can't, then you can actually convert it into a fraction by doing 100x is equal to 16, that would mean moving the decimal place 1, Two, so we get 16.666666 and then doing 100x minus x so 16 minus 0, 6 minus 1 which is 5 but then 6 minus 6, 6 minus 6, 6 minus 6, 6 minus 6, 6 will all cancel out so that gives me 99x, 100 minus 1 is equal to 16.5 x will be 16.5 divided by 99 that's not really a good fraction so x will be equal to 165 and then you need to put in an extra zero in because you've moved the decimal point here one place so you need to add in a zero at the bottom here and that will cancel down to one sixth which is a over b but here you've actually determined that the number is actually a rational number because it can be written as a over b so 0 0.16 recurring is rational so we'll remember that we'll come back to that next number minus four fifths well that's all already in the form a over b where a and B are integers, so that is also rational. Root 11 cannot be written in the form A over B, it's irrational, the proof of it is, is beyond the level of the course. 102 is what's known as a natural number, and minus 13 is an integer. Pi over 2, well as pi is irrational number, then pi over 2 is also irrational number. And so the next thing we need to do is put each thing into the table. So we determined that this number was um, rational, so it goes into the here, that it's also a real number. Minus 4 fifths was also determined to be rational, but it's also a real number. Root 11 was determined to be irrational, so therefore it cannot be any of these three, and therefore it's also real. 102 is a natural number, and because it's a natural number, all natural numbers are also integers. And then all integers are also rational numbers because 102 can be written as 102 over 1. So it meets that, it meets that criteria. And therefore it is also real. Minus 13 is an int integer. So this, these two will be blank. But also minus 13 can be written as minus 13 over 1, which makes it rational. It's also a real number, and pi over 2 was irrational, and, there, and it's also a real number. It cannot be any of these. So your table should look like this. This is a typical sort of math studies IB type question.